Welcome back, guys, to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, where last episode, after obtaining the Soothing Breeze enemy skill from the combat simulator mission Breath of Life, we found ourselves in a battle against the full power Phoenix, managing to overcome its flames of rebirth at last to claim the materia. We now return to Underjunon for the region's final quest and our story continuation. Hey. What were you thinking sending Sam back alone like that? He even need us in the first place? Your mother would give Stamp a run for his money. <laughs> so, how's my son? Seem okay? Yeah. You gonna stand there and pretend this wasn't all about Claire and her bun in the oven? <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from this stubborn ass tree. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Wouldn't know about that. And if you're done making wisecracks, I got work to do. Well, Salmon's fine. I don't know what you're worried about. You did a good job today, boy. Someone's getting extra pets. I need extra pets for beating that boss. <laughs> it was just some tries in the middle where I like got completely mixed up with what I was doing and the timings of everything, but... Uh... Got the health up. I don't know why you're saying I did that at a disadvantage. I thought that would just be absolutely normal at that point in time, but whatever. And yes, I did do it about Aerith's new weapon equipped. I forgot that I mastered it, in fact. That was a bit of an issue. I mean, I could have had uh, Country Ward the Grant's Invincibility while casting spells. That would strengthen Aerith's basic attack. That could have been quite good, yeah. Just, you know, just a little bit. Could have been okay. Lightning damage, ward duration, increase the amount of MP absorbed with soul drain, increase the max MP by three, and slightly increase the MP regeneration speed during battle. Maybe that and enduring ward. I don't know what fighting at from a disadvantage even is. I didn't share my other one, but now I can. Hey there! Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Good going. Association was impressed too. Bumped you up a rank. Your technique isn't exactly where it needs to be, but you've got promise, that's for sure. If you can develop your talents more, I guarantee you'll go places. Like under Junon. I'm now a budding Brittle photographer. In the sea air. Yay! Pink no fire elements or material con combo to reduce some damage, no removing unneeded material. Well, it Do should all be doable delivered? with what we've got. Really, it should be doable with what I go in with. It shouldn't be tricky, is what I'd have thought. It was. With a standard setup rather than going with a hyper-specialized one. Min-max build. <laughs> Calling all frogs. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. I don't know where to go. Oh, is the target on the way to Ribbit Ribbitville? Yes. Ribbit Ribbit. Ribbity Rib. Ribbity Rib Rib Rib. I've got to decompress from that Phoenix stuff now. <laughs> ribbit! turns you into a frog. Hey, Finn, who are they? Not Shinra, I hope. Oh, no, we're definitely not. Oh, wait. You must be the ones Priscilla was talking about. She told me how you saved her. Right, that's us. We're friends. Are you a friend of hers, too? We're friends, but it's not like I like her or anything. It's just there aren't a lot of other kids in the village, so I basically had to be your friend. Of course. 
So what are you kids doing all the way down here? Uh, playing Jump Frog, obviously. Actually, we could use a couple more players. Since you're here, do you want to give it a try? Ah! Help us! <clears throat> Come on, Cloud. Ribbit? Tifa! I tried to warn you! Like I said, hanging out here turns you into a frog! But don't worry, all you gotta do is start thinking like a frog, and you'll be fine! Ribbit! 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 So why do you just know more frogs without clothes? But we have clothes? <laughs> oh. Guess you didn't get Oh no, you got shades! <laughs> and then you've got a nice bow on your head, Aerith. <laughs> Red, come on here. Red, come on. Red, come on. Red! Red, everyone, join us. Ow! Ow! Gero, Gero, indeed! I'm dying here! What's my command menu? <laughs> Leapfrog, jump out to the end and crash down an enemy? Sure! Oh, that's good damage! Somehow I've got to stay alive long enough. It's basically my goal at the moment. To eliminate some of our foes? <laughs> How you doing, Bat Frog? Cloud Frog's dying. This is harder than it seems. <laughs> what the crap? I know I can't escape. Cloud's dying over here. <laughs> I missed. Right, Cloud's dead. But we've killed two enemies. So it's one of us for two of them so far. Get him, Air Frog. Oh, we killed that one. Staggered, get him. Someone is Gero. Gero, Gero. Barrett, best frog. Clown frog like <laughs> Thanks for that. So, ready to play? Come on, I love it. I promise. Ribbit? Ribbit. Okay, here are the rules. I'm dying! <laughs> Jump frog. Press circle to leap over incoming obstacles. <laughs> Wait a second, this was recently in Final Fantasy 14 from another game. <laughs> And dash the safety of R2L3. Remain on the platform as long as you can. Improve your amphibian finesse. Get knocked off though and you'll croak. Think you two can handle it? Gero Gero. Rank 136. I've got last for over rank 3. 120. What do they do with the dogs? Well, this one's about a dog. Woof woof. Woof 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 woof. This one's about a frog. <laughs> Ribbit in Japanese. Okay. Which one's jump again? <laughs> That's a bad time to mess that one up. Someone went. We got a lot of air, by the way. goes two of the platforms. Do 
survived half the time. Uh oh, uh oh, oof. I think I see red 13 or red frog 13. What can we you red frog 13 now? No, no, no. No more platforms need to go down. No more platforms need to go down. Feels like the, the platform's rotating too, or is that my imagination? Oh. Did it! <laughs> garo Garo. What do you think? It's pretty fun, right? Eh, I've played worse. Anyway, thanks again for your help. You can come back again if you want. You look like you were having fun. <laughs> I could get used to it. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Ribbit, ribbit. <coughs> hey! Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> Seem to be having fun with this one. I'm literally dying over here. Is she all the person I talked to to play the minigame? Oh, what's over here? Oh, I'm not allowed to go through here. The frog tunnels. Well, we completed it. <laughs> One minute, 21st time. Gello, 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 gello. <laughs> I think we need to heal. <laughs> Very desperately. Where can I fast travel to in this place? I guess... I can't? Well, that's a thing. Clouds like hell. I turn into a frog. The monsters beat the ever-loving snot out of me. Well, I think everything now is done in the region. We've done all the quests, all the intel. We oh, beat Chadley's machinations, including Phoenix, after a long, hard tussle and tumble. I didn't think it would take this long to finish off Junon from where we were at. But it did. But now... Now we go from under Junon. To into Junon. <laughs> it's time to be... Or to hear about two legs. <sighs> it's been hell, but we made it. Wonder what Gero means. Oh, sorry, it's Gero, supposedly. I thought it was Gero, but... I'm not Japanese. How would I know? Combat Simon's done. Proto Relic done. Everything's done. Port Condor 2. Now. Priscilla. Oh, hey, you guys. We talked to Yuffie. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep. It should just say, no climbing. So we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like... Like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone. But then... Squeak, squeak! I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey! We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise. <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam! Oh, gotcha! <laughs> awesome! Alright then, now what? 
Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay, which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written all over it, Merc. Guess it's me. Great. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Good to go. You will not be able to return to Underjunon for some time. I think we're good to go. Level 20 freezer recommended. Follow the dolphin. Off I go then. Not allowed to swim fast though, dolphin. It's only a high voltage box. I sh should just say no climbing. Yes, that's also what high voltage actually means in this regard. It doesn't have to say that sentence for it to mean that sentence. Steer Miss Dolphin into the beach balls. He loves so much to get him excited and speed up. You don't want to get dolphins excited. If you are swimming fast enough by the time you reach the goal, he will be able to launch Cloud up to the control room. Steer and perform sharp turns. Come on, Cloud. You got this. Squeak. Would you like some mini games with your mini games? <laughs> it's wave race. We're getting excited. Oh wait, that was a jump. Oh man, not gonna be excited anymore. I'm way off course. Are you excited enough yet? 67.70 excitement. <laughs> 66. 7.9. Oh, there were some balls floating in the... Oh, God. Jump's going to mess with things a little bit. Uh, am I excited enough? The dolphin was excited. <laughs> nice going, man! I'm guessing there's gonna be more levels of that mini game when we come back. <laughs> oh, we've got to actually control it? <laughs> okay. I was about to say, it doesn't actually look like it's going down, but that's because everything else is too. So wait, You've been a it. huge help, Priscilla. No prob. Well, guys and girls, and uh, dog. I'll see you later. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> hey. We're good to go down here! Such a 
hard task, man. <laughs> oh, I took it too far. Crash. Ah! Meet you at the top. Can you wedge it and jump? Oh, no, never mind. I guess that might be an issue if you did. Yes, it's going to be really good being up there with an assassination going on and Rosh is awaiting for us. If you don't remember that, because it's a while back now, he invited us up. I don't even have a motorbike. Let the infiltration begin. First of all, we obviously, and 100% at this point, stand out <laughs> very muchly. What? <laughs> I guess we're not infiltrating that. Maybe they don't pay attention. It's fine. Okay, time to win that commendation. Really? You're not going to win any commendation if you're just going to let me walk past a place that no one should be coming from? What the crap, guy? Give that man a commendation from me for let me buy. security than I thought. More worried about the parade? <laughs> Guess things have changed. They got higher priorities. Personally, I think that's a good thing. The city's size, on the other hand. The robed men won't be easy to find. They're definitely not here. Let's head into town. There's another guard right there. <laughs> I mean, I guess the ever the like the good ones are on parade standby at the moment, so these must be the dregs. Right? <laughs> we cannot let Midgar win. Not on our own home turf. Okay, thanks for telling me. <laughs> We're there? <laughs> oh god. Um oh sh uh Hmm Yes. Any idea what that is? The high wind. Shinra's pride and joy. The fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Screw the boat. Let's take that. Unless you got a trained crew and piloting skills we don't know about, we're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. Would have been perfect. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. I want the high wind now. Um, 
I love for how not only are the guards not giving a crap, but we also don't give a crap that we're walking past all the guards armed in a military. With a There's a military ceremony going on right now. I can even walk towards it. Obviously, the game's going to stop me in a second. Best not to get any closer. We're already too close. This is pathetic. I've never seen such a sorry performance. Wow, that is some uh, coordination. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something here? If you want to check out the parade, take the elevator down. Oh, over there, yeah? Sure. You're not going to question the fact that I'm up here? We cannot let Midgar win. Not on our own home turf. So I could just, like, chop this refueling station pump up, and I could, like... There's a lot of stuff I could do here in terms of further vandalism. That's the ticket. Much better than yesterday. I don't think I've got anything more to add. Hmm? Do you need something? Elevator's just over there if you want to get back to town. That's fine. Yeah, I'm going. I tell you, I never get tired of looking at that butte. I agree. We're on high alert for terrorists. Oh, terrorists won't possibly walk into the parade, though. That would be dumb. So everyone's on, like, no guard because of it. That's seriously what's taking place here. They would just show up right here. One of them is sort of in a soldier uniform. Yes, but one of them is also, a, you know, a known soldier going around with the very recognizable other people. No, we'll leave them be. For now. <laughs> Enter. An emissary from Wutai is here. Sent by Viceroy Saruf. Oh? He introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. All right. I thought you were dead. <laughs> then you thought right. Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. The Viceroy and your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wutai and Shinra. Thank you, I'm aware. But my father is dead, which changes the equation. A new vision is required. You always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, and you never give back. Left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. But war can put things right. Beget anger, desolation, hatred, and in its wake, new unity. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole.
What we're doing's for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Oh, right. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. Shinra has a bright future. Ugh. <sighs>